Well, cannabis can affect your driving in a variety of ways. Um, in laboratory studies, we've shown that cannabis impairs your attention, so it'll make it difficult to focus on things for long periods of tri time, which is obviously difficult when you're driving. Um, it also slows your reaction time, so you'll be slower to respond to any hazards you encounter on the road. Um, and it also can distort perception, so things like distances um, may appear further or shorter away than they are. And cannabis also um, can relax you, but to the extent that you become drowsy and sleepy and more prone to fall asleep at the wheel. Uh, well, cocaine is a stimulant drug. Um, one of its uh, classic effects is increasing confidence. Um, in the laboratory, we've shown it increases risk-taking behaviour and impulsivity, um, such that um, on untranslated to the road, this might mean that drivers are more likely to engage in, in hazardous driving, erratic driving, things like speeding, and be more confident generally in their driving ability. Um, the effects of cocaine are quite short-lived, though, so as they're probably wear, they probably wear off as the individual is driving along, and then the after effects are that you become more irritable, much more distractible, your attention is impaired, um, and this obviously has impacts on your driving ability. But MDMA in the laboratory we've shown again to impair attention, so it makes it difficult to focus on things for long periods of time. Um, it also so it can make you more destructible. Um, it also can distort your perceptions, so again things like distances might appear closer. Um, it, again, like cocaine, increases risk-taking behaviour, so you might be more likely to engage in erratic driving. But taking, say, a stimulant drug like cocaine or MDMA with something like alcohol um, doesn't, unlike the common perception, offset the effects of alcohol. What it may actually do is compound it. So the laboratory study we did with alcohol, giving alcohol and MDMA at the same time, actually slowed reaction times down more and increased the memory-impairing effects of these drugs. Um, and other things, other drugs like cannabis, which people might take with MDMA, increase the chance of hallucinations um, and put more perceptual distortions from these drugs. Um, but yeah, generally, polydrug use and driving is not a good idea. <laughs>